A white screen appears, then the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act logo breaks like stone across the screen. Doug Usiak is the CEO of Western New York Independent Living. The impact of the Americans with Disabilities Act, I believe nationally, is that it's put the country on notice that people with disabilities are to be taken seriously. Video of President George H.W. Bush signing the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990, followed by people at polling stations and voting. Doug Usiak is the CEO of Western New York Independent Living. He says the Americans with Disabilities Act has impacted all areas of life, from transportation, employment, communication, government, and voting. You know, if you want to look at the impact in my own life, um, the advancement in technology, uh, for losing my spike back in 1974 in the Army uh, for years as a person who voted. You know, I either went in with my mother initially or my girlfriend to vote, or then one time I even took my daughter in so she could push the levers down. Um, but I never had that privacy and the independence to vote. Now, if it wasn't for the Americans with Disabilities Act, there would have not been a consideration for people with disabilities to vote independently and privately. And I, I have to say, when that was first primary came in and they had a centralized accessible voting machine, I went in, I got chills after 25 years. Video of smartphones followed by shots of a dishwasher and washing machine. As for technology, the ADA was the impetus to help new developments come about. A lawsuit over the accessibility of smartphones helped to make them more accessible, but everyone can enjoy the voice command and other features that they now sport. Then there's the other everyday items that we take for granted. Doug says you can thank the ADA for spurring on creativity. Now we see that the various uh, smart technologies that engage with your thermostats just by voice activation, and it can give you a monitor your washing machine, tell you what's happening in your refrigerator or dishwasher. All of that was a result of research on getting to appliances and technologies to meet the standards that were created within the ADA. And now we're seeing it becoming a mainstream product. Animated graphic of scales of justice and a gavel. Doug says it's important for advocates and agencies to monitor court cases because so-called small decisions can set a precedent for larger future cases. Doug refers to the ADA as the bridge to full inclusion. We're not in the recipe as people with functional limitations and disabilities. Unfortunately or fortunately, created a mechanism that not only can people with disabilities challenge the barriers that get put up, but the systems out there can also challenge the law itself. And the unfortunate aspect about most decisions in court is that limits and focuses the impact of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And every time it gets contested, the rights of people with disabilities are always challenged. So as we move forward with the Americans with Disabilities Act as a baseline, it behooves us, especially advocates and people with disabilities, to make sure that the Americans with Disabilities intent it's built into future regulations, future regulatory uh, uh, developments, like we see in the building standards. That's known as universal design, which helps people with and without disabilities alike. Know your rights and responsibilities under the ADA. Connect with the Northeast ADA Center at northeastada.org.